The question here, are some pet products which are sold in thousands of stores harming and sometimes even killing cats and dogs? Investigative reporter Joel Grover has uncovered some alarming evidence and tonight he's here with it. Joel. Well, Paul and Colleen, we're talking about these products which are sold in major supermarkets and pet supply stores. They're meant to get rid of fleas and ticks on your pets. But we've been looking closely through government data and have found thousands of reported pet illnesses and deaths that are linked to these kinds of products. Let's face it, for many of us, pets are like members of the family, which is why it would be so devastating if your dog were to suddenly collapse. Twitching, convulsions, seizures. Or if your cat were to drop dead. I felt like it was my fault because I had applied the product. After you used an over-the-counter pet product, which is approved by the U.S. EPA. Do I want to risk my own cats to that? I'm six. And the answer is no. The products we're talking about are popular flea and tick shampoos or drops. They're sold by different companies under different names, but they all contain the same type of pesticide called pyrethrins, or the synthetic versions known as pyrethroids. These are the same pesticides used in well-known products to kill bugs around your house. Is this completely safe? Yeah. That's what Heidi Wohler of Santa Clarita says they told her when she bought Biospot flea and tick shampoo for her two cats, Hummer and Samson. I read the directions and I followed them thoroughly. But within minutes of applying the shampoo, Heidi says both cats began having seizures, especially Hummer. He's shaking, he can't breathe. Samson was saved by an emergency room vet, but Hummer didn't make it. He died a horrible, violent, fast death. This is not an isolated case. We looked through the EPA's database of reported incidents involving domestic animals from all products containing pyrethrins and pyrethroids. We found numerous cases of animals whose skin was burned, animals who had seizures and vomiting, tens of thousands of reported incidents, including thousands of deaths. Even the EPA admits it's not sure how many thousands of animals have been harmed by these pesticides. If they're on the shelf in a grocery store or a drug store, you assume that that's been tested and, and is fine. But you things test, weren't uh, fine when yeah, Rich Parsons yeah, of La Quinta yeah, yeah. applied Hart's flea and tick drops to his dog Duffy. They contain a pyrethroid called phenothrin. The following day, Duffy was having seizures, and two days later he died at this animal hospital. This was not a pleasant death. This was a really a devastating loss for us because he just meant the world to us. In fact, there are entire websites where pet owners report illnesses and deaths after using products containing pyrethrin and pyrethroid pesticides. How's he doing? It's good. Yeah. yeah. Well-known veterinarians like Dr. Jeff Werber of L.A. say a certain percentage of pets have adverse reactions to these products. We do know that some of these products can be toxic. Um, we don't necessarily know to what degree. That's why so many vets and groups like the Humane Society are speaking out against these products. There are absolutely safer alternatives generally across the board. But these companies all insist their products are safe. It's unconscionable. It's unacceptable. When Rich Parsons' dog Duffy died, his vet wrote that it was a reaction to the insecticide in the heart's drops that contributed to the dog's death. But Hartz brought in its own experts to review the case, and they denied any responsibility, blaming Duffy's death on underlying health problems. He's a perfectly healthy cat. And when Heidi Wohler's cat Hummer died, her vet wrote that based on the cat's symptoms, the pyrethrin in the Biospot shampoo contributed to Hummer's death. Biospot paid for an autopsy, which we asked Dr. Werber to interpret. Is it possible the shampoo contributed to this cat's death? I think it's highly likely there, there's, there was a contributory factor to this product and this cat's demise. It needs to be taken off the market. Still, Biospot's parent company told Heidi in a letter, we don't believe Hummer's death was a result of using our product. But they never did explain why the cat died. Pets are part of our family. And he trusted me. <laughs> So I, in turn, try to do my best, and I trusted the product. 
The U.S. EPA tells us it has now begun a major review of these flea and tick products to make sure they're really safe. The EPA could end up taking action, such as requiring new labeling or even, even pulling certain products from the market. As for the companies in our story, they all claim their products are safe when used as directed. Hartz also told us its flea and tick products have the lowest number of reported adverse events compared to other brands. And Sargent says it is constantly looking for ways to improve the safety of our products. You can read the full statements from these companies on our website, NBCLA.com.